Yeah, guys, just making a video. Zion Oil and Gas ticker Z N O G on the OTC markets. Um, market currently is closed. It's the 19th November 2024. Today, guys, coming up to 46 minutes past 10 a.m. in the UK, UK time, guys. Going to be looking at the stock price chart and talking about uh, Zion Oil and Gas. Looking at the stock price chart for Zion Oil and Gas. Give you my thoughts. And let's have a look, guys. And here we see a big rise. And by the way, just to say, I do own stock in Zion Oil and Gas and get onto that. Actually, I own stock in two different accounts. Um, not a lot, not a lot of shares, but still I do own stock and I'll talk about that as well. Well, I did own a lot more at one point, but I sold before it really fell. And, um, <clears throat> and I'll just say like on the, on the accounts where I hold, you know, on the two accounts where I hold Zion stock, I'm not able, I wasn't able, not that I would have, maybe I would have, I'm not able to buy Zion. I'm only able apparently to sell because they suspended, they suspended um, buying. So I may have bought more when it went down to, you know, three cents, because I was already holding, I was already holding, you know, I was already holding um, Zion oil and gas stock on two accounts. Forget the, my average on my other account, but my average on this account is 12, 12, three, six. Uh, just so, so the current price puts me like, you know, 45, like 9.94% in profit but obviously i was losing more or less all of it like most of it when it was down to three cents but the thing is obviously i wasn't able to buy it. i mean i have i've got an account in the us where i am able to buy or i was able to buy when it was three cents but i couldn't be bothered because i'm in the uk and to I don't have funds in that account. So in order to buy, and I wasn't tempted to buy Zion, in order to buy, I would have had to basically transfer funds, which I lose on the exchange rate from pounds to, from pounds to um, dollars, transfer funds and then buy. But, you know, look, I got, in this account, I got 5,000, and five shares right and the other account i forget i've got a higher average i think i forget how many shares i've got maybe something like the same but at one point i had 24 i think i had something like twenty four thousand um shares a lot higher average a lot higher average and as i said i sold um and i wasn't tempted enough even at three three cents i wasn't you know, I believe that, and I still do. I believe Zion, based on all what's known, I believe it's basically doomed. So I wasn't really tempted. Like, even if I was able to buy on this account and my other, you know, my other account, um, I think it's on the same platform. But even if I was able to buy, even if I did buy at three cents, I don't think I would have bought much. Let's put it that way. I don't think I would have bought many shares. At one point, when it was, I think it was like 50, 60 cents, I did buy, when I when I bought a lot, I sold, I think I made like profit. I think it was like one, one trade, I made like five 5,000 5, pounds on one trade. But after that, I was holding, basically I was, yeah, basically around 60 cents. I remember I was holding and then I sold, I sold it all and then it went down. It kept going down. I'm glad I did sell it 
absolutely right. I think I was, as I said, I, I think I had about twenty. Um, 24,000 shares at one point. Maybe a bit more, I don't know. I can't remember. But anyway, guys, like, look, I want to talk about Zion. As I said, I'm a holder, but I, I considered it like I'm losing. I mean, I could sell it now and get my money back. But I've held it so long. Let's just see what happens. I don't really care. I think, as I said, I think I've got a higher average anywhere on my other account. But Look, guys, like I want to talk about it, right? Because, as I say, I haven't got many shares, so I've still got that objective view. And you've got a question, why is, basically, you know, why why is it going up? Why is it rising? Why is, um, the last time it was up this level, by the way, as you can see on this chart, I don't know, you can't see the date, it was November, beginning of November 2022. So, more or less, it's been down for two years. So, anyway, guys, like, let me just reset that. Let me just reset that. Um, yeah. Reset the chart. Yeah, so, as I was saying, like, why is it going up? That's the question, right? Why is it going up and we're looking at the one month chart here so if i squeeze the chart you can see like two years ago it was it was basically where it is now that's more or less where i bought it this on this account or it may have been further back no it wouldn't have been it was around about there two years ago yeah october november or maybe maybe i bought some more further back and then it went up and might may have sold some and it went down something like that anyway but anyway guys the question is was i on oil and gas why is it rising i'm not a basher of zion oil and gas by the way i believed in them at one stage when i loaded up at i think it was 20 cents when they was zn yeah i think it was on a nasdaq when they was on a nasdaq and then they, they let it go over to OTC. And it's all, it's, it's, it's basically, in a way, it's been all bad news. Even though it rose to, from 20 cents to, I think it was 174. To me, it was a pump and dump. There was no, nothing behind any, you know, it was too early stages to, to warrant a rise to 174. Right, I think that was on the OTC. It rose to one seventy four, and that was the last pump and dump. I think, yeah. And then the other pump and dump was it went from it went, and then the price went down to around sixty cents. I, I think I recall, and then it went up to ninety, ninety, ninety five, something like that. And then from ninety five, the price basically fell all the way back you know, all the way down to basically three cents. But there was no, there was nothing, you know, there wasn't any information that about Zion oil and gas that warranted the rise to 174, around 174. And then when it went, fell back again, it went up. There wasn't any information, like MJ1 was a failure, right? It talked about, signs of oil i've covered this in my other videos you should listen to those other videos covered it extensively which i'm not going to repeat but an overview there wasn't anything right mj1 or at least they said you know there wasn't enough for for product for for production and then they go right they've done the 3d and after the 3d where do they drill on the same site right? Not anywhere else. Well, in the first instance, they should have done 3D, like, you know, before all this started, before they even drip, decided to drill on that site, which I don't think they did, right? But anyway, they drilled to MJ2 and that didn't work out. I mean, it says it all, doesn't it, you know? And then what do they do? Well, to keep the dreams alive 
not that there's anything there to keep the dreams alive and keep keep the um scam going they go and um what do they do they go and um revisit mj1 and what's happened now there's there's <laughs> there's objects probably john brown's wallet stuck down the hole guys stuck down the well Right, there's objects stuck down the well that they can't get out. They didn't even have the tools apparently to get them out. I mean, they're so professional. They talked about having a professional crew and professional equipment, but apparently they didn't even have the equipment to get out, you know, to go fishing, to get any stuck objects out. But they could have bypassed it, which I covered in a previous video. They could have drilled around the stuck objects, right? Or they could have just tested the well from where it, from the depth it was. But they didn't do that. They didn't decide to do that. They decided to order more equipment, fishing equipment, more expense, you know, and then decided to, you know, basically try and get John Brown's wallet out of the well, tongue in cheek, you know. So anyway, that's what, that's what they said and they said it was going to take months because they the equipment had to come and uh, permissions and you know all delays and whatnot so i don't know what, what they're doing i don't know if it's restarted don't know if they the equipment you know has arrived or what whatever whatever there's no news basically the only news after that that you know you were told about was the unit program ex ex extension now obviously this share price you know stock price rise to now currently the market's closed but 12 12 cents 12.69 cents and did it go a little bit higher let me just change the chart to see this is not the best charts really by the way um but it's nonetheless it's um let's put it on the one hour chart to see yeah it went a little bit higher um on the 18th yeah it went a little it went up to basically it's just above 13 tad above 13 cents so as i was saying um you see like if they if there were some buys you know if people bought through Zion, and then Zion bought, you know, on the open market, that's probably why the price has gone up, because you get some people that buy into the, um, basically buy into the dream, or buy into the vision, or buy into the, to the, um, what, what, what could I say, like, the manipulation, really, that they're helping Israel somehow. Guys, like, I covered this as well about oil in Israel. Like, Israel doesn't need oil, right? They need oil, but they've got, like, tons and tons of gas. They can, they've got the money from the gas to buy oil, buy oil from elsewhere. They've got so much gas, there's so much power that they can't be without oil, Right? So they could get oil even through third parties if they couldn't get oil directly, which they can get oil directly. They could buy oil through third parties. They could get oil, right? They've got that power. They've got gas. And even without that gas, they, they're, they're a rich country, right? So there's no problem about getting oil. Now, about oil in Israel, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Number one, before all this, you know, back in the 50s, I think it was 50s, 60s, I think it was the 50s, I think it was BP, they drilled like most all over the country looking for oil. Not so deep, but quite deep. They drilled all over, guys, looking for oil. And they didn't find any oil. Well, they didn't find much oil. I mean, now, today, there's a few wells producing oil, but I think further south, south, southwest for where Zion are drilling. They're producing oil, but not in large quantities, right? I think the oil, overall, the oil produced in Israel 
is only I think it's five percent of what oil of what um Israel needs, something like that anyway. So when you put all those facts together, you and you think about Zion where they're drilling and what's happened and they've drilled two wells now, guys. Two wells on the same site. Well, what do you conclude? Are you going to tell me that there's oil enough, you know, for production where Zion are drilling? I don't know, guys. I don't know. I can't say 100% not. But the evidence would have to... You'd have to conclude that there isn't. Um, isn't any, you know, oil in, in quantity. If there was oil in quantity, like, you know, for production, the signs would have been there by now. Even drilling, right? Even drilling. Forget about testing. Even just drilling. They would have had, like, you know, they, they there would be evidence that there's huge amounts of oil, right? There would be evidence, even in drilling, let alone testing. And we don't see that. We don't see that. And it, and it would be reflected. Look, guys, you, you can't keep that sort of thing a secret. It would be reflected in the share price. If there was a, loads of oil, all those people on the rig, the news would spread like wildfire, like in Romania. Every Romanian would be buying shares in Zion Oil and Gas, right? If there was oil, even before testing, Zion Oil share price, Zion oil and gas share price, it would probably be ten ten dollars now, not fall fell to three cents, right? If there was truly oil there, then people are not stupid, right? They've got experience. Then people are not stupid. Um you know there's rig workers, they're not they're not silly, right? They know if there's oil there or not. If, as I said, if there was oil, they'd be buying, their families would be buying, their family, all their extended family and all the friends of all those family members, they would be buying, right? And then they, they, they would tell their friends abroad, in the Germany, you know, Romania, they got contacts with Germany, Bulgaria and, and Hungary. It would spread across Europe. Everyone would be buying. Share price... If there was truly oil, share price could even go to $50, whatever, even before they tested. So, you know, you've got to factor in all these issues, like all these, uh, you know, probables when you talk about cyan oil and gas. goes down to just under three cents it went, just under. It was heading for one cent, guys. It was heading for one cent. Listen, wake up, smell the coffee. Not financial advice, by the way. Nothing I say in this video is financial advice. Just my opinion. If they didn't extend that unit program, which I think is rushed up the price now of Zion, it could have went to one cent, right? The share price could have went, it could have fallen to, 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 to one cent. It was heading for one cent. And what... What do they do? Like, well, they, they, they couldn't do anything else. All they could do was say we're extending the program to try to get, you know, get the share price up somewhat. But, you know, what do you think is going to happen to the share price after MJ1 now, if there's no oil? What's going to happen to the share price? It's going to collapse, isn't it? It's going to go straight back to th three cents, if not to one cent, if not lower than one cent, sub one cent, half a cent, right? And then fade away. And what? What? They, they, they would need money. They would need money to go and drill anywhere else. And and what would on what basis would they drill? say that they're going to drill somewhere else. Why would people believe them? What would they be doing? Using the 3D somewhere better? There's oil somewhere better within the 3D zone? Well, people would say, well, why didn't you go and drill there in the first place if you think there's oil, like chances of oil 
you know, somewhere else, whatever. It was just all convenient, you know, for them to drill another well, MJ2, on the same site, to keep the dream alive. It was just easy to do that. It's a process, isn't it? Like, it's, um, you know, to keep the scam going, they make moves that are not really adventurous, you know. Any genuine oil company, right, if there was truly oil shown in a, in a 3D, wherever, they would try and go and drill there straight away. They wouldn't mess around like drilling two wells on a site where there was nothing there. You know what I mean? So that's it, guys. With um, that's where we we're, we're that's where we're at now. How do they? How, how you think? Right about the share price. It's currently twelve, just under thirteen. 12.69 cents. You think it's going to go 20 cents or whatever. Right, if you bought at 3 cents, yeah, if you was able to buy, I don't know what um, broker you're using, probably in the US, there's brokers. As I said, I've got an account with First Trade. you probably got accounts with other brokers you can buy Zion on the OTC. But as I say... Um, you if you bought at three cents, you've made profit as a trade. But I, I, how how long would you hold it for? How high do you think the price of Zion's going to go? Let me know in the comments, guys. Do you think it's going to go back to twenty cents, and on what basis? Uh, this pump, how long is it going to last? Because it could all come crashing down again. How long is it going to last? And do you think they're going to find any oil for production? production levels let me know in the comments guys because as i said they've they've, they've drilled now mj1 they've drilled mj2 they've tested mj1 already it was no good they've tested mj2 no good and now they're test, going to test mj1 again so guys like wake up tell me that i'm wrong give me reasons but don't talk about faith belief miracles Guys, don't, you know, talk about facts, talk about probability, you know, talk about evidence. So let me know, guys, in the comments. Like the video, share the video, guys, on, uh, you know, the platform, Stock Tweets, Stock Tweets, Yahoo Conversations, etc., etc., guys. And let me know in the comments. But I called it right. I called it right. I said it was going to go down when it was a lot higher. It did go down. I did call it right, guys. And I, and, and um, as I say, I'm only reacting on this one based on the evidence, guys. I'm only reacting based on the evidence. So let me know in the comments.